If you guys are getting anything from scuff.com, make sure to use promo code chaos. Get yourself a discount, whether it be a new controller, whether it be accessories, merch, whatever you get, and tweet at me so I can show you guys some love as well. Now, today, this is probably the most asked for COD history video currently that you guys want my personal list of, and we, uh, we're gonna do it. Light machine guns are some of the most intimidating but also annoying guns in Call of Duty, thanks to their good damage, their great cover penetration, their big magazines, and their spammy playstyle. But, like all other COD elements, all LMGs are not created equal, and today I present to you the 10 best LMGs in COD history. Kicking off our list today is the fan favorite Hammer, H-A-M-R, from Black Ops 2. Now this was a very unique weapon. It fired at a very quick 937 rounds per minute, but then it decreased all the way down to 625 after the first seven rounds, which they came out pretty quick. The hammer came equipped with a 75 round mag. That's respectable by default with a reload time of only about four and a half seconds, which I know that is long compared to rifles and SMGs, but by LMG standards, it's on the faster side of the spectrum. The hammer also hit for 40 damage up close and it decreased down to 24, meaning it was a three to five shot kill, which is pretty easy to get when you have 75 rounds to spend. Now, I think this is a great way to kick off the list and this is an underrated LMG. At number nine, the Hades crossbar in Black Ops 4. By default, the Hades LMG is a pretty good weapon in BO4, but it's certainly not a top tier choice. That is, until you get the crossbar operator mod. This attachment would make the weapon a hip fire only gun, but it would also greatly tighten the spread and give you increased mobility, which would allow you to run around the map and mow people down like Rambo. By default, the Hades has a relatively small magazine of 65 rounds, but this can be increased, it can be increased to 84 with the hybrid mags attachment. And overall, the Hades is a decent weapon, but when you throw the crossbar operator mod on it, it becomes one of the best light machine guns in COD history. And I want to know, are you a fan of operator mods? Are you glad, uh, that, well, are you hoping that they're going to go away in Call of Duty Modern Warfare? We haven't seen anything about them. This month's giveaway is for a brand new PlayStation 4 console. All you have to do to enter is like the video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, turn on those notifications, and tweet me why you want to win it with your Twitter handle included. At number eight, I love this gun. I love the name, I just love the gun. The Stoner 63 in Black Ops 1. Does anybody remember this gun? Raise your hand if you do. It was one of those guns that had a bit of a cult following due to it being overshadowed by the FAMAS and the AK-74U, but still having insane potential if you knew how to use it. The Stoner was kind of a hybrid between an LMG and an AR, as it only had a 30 round mag. I know for an LMG that's ridiculous, but it had the damage and the range stats of an LMG. It would hit for a flat 40 damage at all ranges, making it a three shot kill anywhere on the map. And it did have a 1.4 times headshot multiplier. So you could really take people out with this thing. But like I said, you only have 30 rounds in the mag by default. And with extended mags, that was taking it up to 60. So you were going to be reloading a lot with this gun. But, but it's damage more than made up for it. It's certainly one of the most underrated guns in the original Black Ops. Next up is the classic MG42 in World at War. One of the most recognizable weapons from the Second World War, the real world MG42 was first created for the German army in 1942. It was nicknamed Hitler's Buzzsaw, thanks to its high rate of fire, large magazine, and its terrifying sound. The MG42 seen in Call of Duty World at War did its best to recreate this beast of a weapon and it pulled it off very well. It sported a 50 round mag by default, it fired at 937 rounds per minute, and it hit for a flat 30 damage, making it a four shot kill from all ranges on the map without stopping power. It also boasted great penetration power and a 1.4 times headshot multiplier, and if you comboed it with stopping power, it was a three shot kill from any range on the map. The fact you could three shot people from anywhere on the map with a gun that fired at more than 900 rounds per minute, well, that's insane. And that's what earned it a spot on today's list. At number six, the Chainsaw in Ghost. And you probably hear me smiling through my voice here. One of the coolest LMGs in Call of Duty. The Chainsaw was a hip fire only LMG from Call of Duty Ghost that could fire up to 1,008 rounds per minute. And deal up to 47 damage per shot, assuming that you could get him in the head. The idea of a hip fire only LMG didn't sound very appealing at first, but the chainsaw was not only super fun to use, 
but it was also incredibly effective on smaller maps where you could just funnel people into corridors and then hose them down for insane multi-kills. It was a very satisfying gun to use. And personally, I would love to see something like the Chainsaw make a comeback in the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare title. Cracking into the top five, you guys are gonna hate me for this, but I have to do it. The LSAT in Black Ops 2. One of the most hated guns in COD history due to many reasons. How powerful it was, I mean, when you put the target finder on it, just everything. The LSAT was unlocked at level 13 of the multiplayer, was almost unanimously considered to be the best light machine gun in the game. It featured pretty low recoil, great damage, hitting for 40 to 24 damage, making it a three to four shot kill, and it had a 100 round mag by default, which you could increase all the way to 135 with extended mags. Now the reload was super slow, seven seconds slow, and the damage done in between reloads, it was super worth it. Anyone who played Black Ops 2 knows what it's like to get killed by someone laying prone or sitting in a corner with the LSAT accompanied with the target finder. At number four, the Dingo in Black Ops 3. This fast-firing LMG was one of the most annoying weapons in BO3, although it didn't have nearly as bad a reputation as the Brecci did. The Dingo would fire at 722 rounds per minute, had a default mag of 80 rounds, which could be bumped up to 112 with extended mags. Damage? Pretty low compared to the other guns on this list, but it would hit for a maximum of 30 to the body and decrease down to 22 at range. And given how fast this thing fired and how easy it was to control the recoil, the low damage wasn't much of a problem since you could laser people from across the map. The Dingo is also visually very similar to some of the alien weapons used in the movie District 9, which some fans think is meant to be an Easter egg, while others think it's just a coincidence. I will let you guys decide, but I really like the name Dingo. At number three, the RPD in COD 4. This is a fan favorite weapon that appeared throughout the Modern Warfare series, but the best version of it is probably the one from COD 4, where it is undeniably the best LMG in the game and arguably one of the best weapons in the game as a whole. The RPD came equipped with a 100 round mag by default. It would fire at 700 rounds per minute with pretty controllable recoil and very, very clean sights. It would also hit for a 40, it would hit for a flat 40 damage from any range, which would allow you to get three shot kills from across the map with ease if you knew how to control the recoil and the tap fire. Plus, if you threw stopping power on it, it instantly became a two shot kill from all ranges, which makes it super intimidating. The only downside to the COD 4 RPD was the reload time, which was a painful, painful 9.7 seconds but most people didn't mind that because you could easily get three to five kills per magazine so it was well worth the wait at number two the lewis in world war ii maybe the most annoying gun in cod world war ii i'll let you guys decide the lewis was hands down one of the best guns in the game and if you got into a world war ii multiplayer lobby today you're probably going to find plenty of people sitting around head glitches and spamming this particular gun it only fired at 500 rounds per minute by default, and it would hit for 30 to 40 damage to the body. It had great cover penetration, especially with FMJ, had very low recoil in a magazine that could hold up to 97 rounds with extended max. So go ahead, add on the bipod that you could deploy for it for even less recoil and even better handling, and you've got a camper's best friend. The Lewis was insanely annoying in COD World War II due to how easy it was to spam and how difficult it was to legitimately counter. But the Lewis was nothing compared to our number one choice today. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to drop a like on the video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel with post notifications on so you always get alerted when a new video goes up and you can get that elusive first comment. And at number one today, my pick is the Titan in Black Ops 4. Perhaps the best LMG in COD history and the single most annoying overpowered gun in BO4. Unlocked by default. The Titan has a 75 round mag by default, which can be increased all the way up to 150 with extended mags. It kills in three to four shots. It can rip through enemy kill streaks like paper with FMJ, and it also has an insanely annoying operator mod called Oppressor, which will cause the enemy screen to shake when bullets go by them, making it super hard to line up shots and take down. I mean, it just, you can't take the user down before they kill you. The Titan does have a slow reload time, but due to how powerful it is and how many rounds you can fit into the magazine, it really isn't an issue. People spam this thing like you would not believe, and if you ask me, it's the best LMG in COD history. I know it's probably one of the most hated as well, but those kind of go hand in hand sometimes. And there you have it, my friends. That is my list of the 10 best 
LMGs in COD history. You guys let me know what COD history videos you would like to see. This one has been asked for many, many times. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Turn on the notifications. Ring the bell. Check the boxes. Whatever you have to do to make sure you get notified when a new video goes up. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you soon.